Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Prize Picks video. This one we are talking about Monday Night Football. We got Chiefs and the Bucks in this one. We have four picks in the video for you to consider, so stay tuned to hear all four of the picks. And if you guys want more picks for the NFL, NBA, and all other sports, check out the Dynamo Private Discord. It'll be linked down below. I post more picks in here, plus a bunch of other cappers. You can see a nice day here going 7-2 and two for me. Another capper here hitting a big NBA six-pick slip, $20 to win six twenty-five. dollars Last Monday Night Football, our four-pick slip hit. We've been crushing the single-game NFL slips. As you can see, a Thursday night one hit on underdog. Then also Monday Night Football, we went 11 and 4 with our picks across the cappers that posted for the game, and we've had some huge wins from people in the Discord. We've, as you can see here, people posting a bunch of their winning slips with all sports, NBA, NFL. So definitely check it out. It's less than winning just a five dollar three pick slip on prize picks. So if we can help you do that, it's definitely going to be worth it for you. You get access to a ton of picks every day. And we have a bunch of cappers, including myself, posting NFL, NBA, which is every day, NHL, college football. So definitely get in there, check it out. Saw some of the big wins and the crazy streaks we've been going on. So get in there. We'll see you guys over in the disc. It'll be linked right down below. Now let's get into this one. The first one I'm going to go to is going to be Mahomes over on his passing touchdowns at one and a half. For Mahomes, a line definitely like in here. Tampa Bay is a team that can put up some points, even with all the injuries. They will put up a bunch of points. And passing yards also will give up a bunch in the passing game. So I expect the Chiefs to put up a decent amount of points in this one and also the Bucks to score a good amount. So with that game prediction in mind, we're going to go off that. So for Mahomes, expect them to get one and a half passing touchdowns in this one. He hit it in their last game, and I think definitely should be a good spot here versus Tampa Bay. So you can see over on Odds Jam, this is one of the picks that they are really liking for this game. Basically how Odds Jam works is they take lines from prize picks, underdog, other sites you can filter up over here, and they look at other lines. So this is minus 125 on DraftKings, minus 131 on Caesars, but it's on prize picks here, over one and a half. So we're definitely liking it for Patrick Mahomes. Also to look at some data on this one, come over to outlier and see passing touchdowns against Tampa Bay 27th in the league giving up 1.9 per game one of the worst teams in the league as far as allowing passing touchdowns and for Mahomes here on the season just three of seven you know if he would have hit it in one other game it would be four of seven and then well over a 50 percent hit rate last game got there with two touchdowns against the Raiders and we haven't seen a you know massive Kansas City game they haven't put up more than 28 points in a game this year. This could be one of those games where they push in the 30s. I really think that they're going to have a big one in this one. It's supposed to be a high-scoring game where it's a pretty big spread here at 9.5. So they expect Kansas City to be ahead in this game, winning and win big with a big score in this game. So playing off what Vegas thinks, based on the total of 46 and the line being around 9.5, they expect Kansas City to score around 28 points in this game in Tampa Bay right around 19 as well. So expect a high scoring one where Kansas City puts up a good amount of points. Should be able to do that. And we also saw last year, 2023, he hit this over half of his games, 11 of 20 games. And looking at last year, games where they won, he hit this 64% of the time, nine of 14 games where they won. He was actually hitting this more. That's a filter you can do over on Outlier. You can also look when they won by 10 or more points. This was a higher hit rate, 67% of games last year, four of six. So when they're winning big games, Mahomes usually has a big one as well. That's what they expect. Like going to him here. And then for the next one, if the Chiefs are up big, I expect Kareem Hunt to get a good amount of carries in this game. Like he's been getting in the last few games, he's really been the workhorse for this offense. And I think if they have a lead here, which Mahomes will get him with those two passing touchdowns, then they're going to use Kareem Hunt a lot here to try to run the clock because Tampa Bay is going to keep coming at them and likely will score some on them as well as this offense can put up points. Tampa Bay, they can have big days, and they're not going to stop coming with that pass game, even if Kansas City is well ahead. So I think they're going to go to Kareem to run the clock a lot. I like going to his rush attempts here at 17, because he's been getting so many carries, and I think that they're going to stick with him to run this clock and run this game out when they are ahead in it. So for Kareem Hunt, looking at how many times he got over 16 and a half carries or 17, it was just that first game that he came back to the Chiefs in where he didn't hit this and then his last threes hit it. 
So with 27, 22, 21, it's just gone well above it in those uh, last three. 21 plus in the last three. We just need him to get to 18 here or 17 with the push on this line. So definitely a good spot here, one that he should absolutely be hitting in this game with the game script. You can see all these games, it's basically the same. You know, Kansas City winning between, you know, 7 and 13 points like this one is expected. Won this one by 13, this one by 10, this by 7. And these all these games, Kareem Hunt has gotten a hefty amount of carries with 21 plus. To really like him to come in and control the game, try to run the clock and run the ball to him a lot. And we've been looking at prize picks, underdog. But you also got to be on parlay play here. Right now, you can sign up. If you use the link down below, you automatically get $5 with the promo code that's already added. You don't even have to deposit. You get the $5. And with mine, you saw what I did. You can even use slash lines. Like I used a slash Malik neighbors line here. Turn my five into 15. And then Parlay Play has so many slash lines and promos that you're going to want to deposit to get more money in here. Because they also have a 100% deposit match and start with a nice bankroll over on Parlay Play. Get a ton of slash lines. And they have a ton of alternate lines you could play on. Like, look at the NBA. You can bet Giannis over 44.5 points for a 12.69x. And just looking at Giannis, there are so many different and alt lines you could put on for him. So they have a ton of different bets on here. So definitely check them out if you haven't. Over there for that free five. Great place to play. A ton of slash props, promos, tons of lines, and all the free money you can get. And if you're on Price Picks Underdog, you got to be on parlay play as well so that'll be linked down below now let's get into the bucks picks for this one. First one i'm gonna go to is kate auden he's been having huge games and i like going to him on the receptions at five he's gonna be heavily targeted in this one obviously the bucks are without mike evans and chris godwin the top two targets in this offense with them gone it's really been kate auden who has been getting the majority of the targets and work you know the receiving line doesn't look bad here just needs 51 but the receptions at five. I think he's just going to get so many targets. Kansas City may not allow a ton of big plays, but they should allow Kate Auden to get at least five catches when he's going to see eight to ten, even higher amount of targets in this one. So Auden here to get those five catches. Obviously for him, a very different situation with those guys out that we mentioned. But you can see the last couple of games, he's hit this eight and nine catches in the last two. Even before that, week three and four, he had seven and six catches. So this is actually a 50% hit rate on the season, but a massive bump in production and usage with Godwin and Mike Evans out. And Kansas City allows the 17th most reception, so right in the middle of the road. But two tight ends, they allow the most in the NFL at 7.3 catches per game, two tight ends. So this team will allow a lot of catches to tight ends, Kate Otten is going to be targeted a lot in this. So I expect him to have a good amount of catches in this, liking him at the line of five. And then we're going to go to another one here, Bucky Irving, who was very involved in the pass game as well. Again, expect, you know, the tight end, Kate Auden, and the running backs to be heavily involved in the offense, in the passing offense, especially because more than likely they're going to be down here trying to throw, getting a lot of short passes, trying to get yardage and plays after the catch with Bucky Irving, Kate Otten, Rashad White. You know, I do like White too, but his number a little higher here at 23 and a half. And Bucky Irving saw the majority of the passes to running backs last week. He saw seven targets and caught seven balls last week. So expecting a lot of work for him again in the passing attack. You know, these two running backs basically will split the work 50-50 here. And liking what Irving could bring in the pass game. His last three weeks, he's really come alive in the passing game. And we saw him hit 24, 54, and then 40. And the targets have been there as well. With seven in the last game, with seven catches, again, with Evans and Godwin out. He saw a ton of targets. Targets are starting to come along. And in this offense now, I think it's going to be heavy on the tight end and running backs moving forward. So like what Irving could bring to the table at this line at just 15 and a half, very doable for him to hit in this one for the third straight game at 24 plus receiving yards in three games straight. And if you guys want more picks from me, plus a bunch of other cappers, check out the Dynamo private discord. You can see private discord members here cashing out some huge slips in all sports. We give picks for all sports, some big ones in the NFL as well. You can see over here, last night at football, I gave out a four-pick prize pick slip. All four of them hit here, cashed a bunch of people out in the private Discord. 
We've been killing the single game NFL slates over here. An underdog slip for last Thursday night football. Here we posted and hit and had an 11 and 4 day across all the cappers in Monday night football. So definitely get in here, check it out. We've absolutely been crushing these single game slates for the NFL and the NBA and NHL. We post in all sports over here, me plus a bunch of other cappers just posting our top and favorite picks. So get over there, check it out, and we'll see you guys in the Discord. And also make sure to check out Parlay Play, just like Prize Picks and Underdog, but you're going to get free $5 just for signing up with the link down below. Don't even have to deposit, but you're going to want to deposit after that because they have a ton of lines slash promos and a 100% deposit match. So sign up for Parlay Play as well.